<laughs> I kept just now. I feel it on my mustache. <laughs> How the fuck did you find us? Who are we talking about? We're sorry to inconvenience you. Yeah, I started the podcast and yet I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you were not prepared. Jordan's taking a shot, everybody. Pouring himself some whisk. Took it. Took it a shot. Took it a shot. Yeah, I poured myself a glass. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So why can't we have a fucking vending machine in here? I. I it would we, fit fine right there in the corner. No. It's not realistic. What do you mean? It would make us money. It w- we would have to have people here. Yeah, we have people here all the time. Right now, it's just you and me, and we'd spend our own money on yeah, it. Yeah, I'd do it. <laughs> I'd yeah. spend my money We'd on have it. to have the guy with the truck come through every week and fill it back up. Can you imagine? Yeah. Did a vendor stopping by our house? Yeah, like a big box, like huge boxes of shit, and he like stocks in like two bags of Doritos and like <laughs> maybe a bag of Smarties. <laughs> Would we get drinks? Smarties. Well, we could just replace the fridge. Actually, drinks are a good idea. <laughs> that is a good idea. Dude. But put beer in them. We put beer in it, like chasers and stuff. No, not realistic. Yo, hold on. Good idea, though. We put beer in vending machines, and then we make them like two bucks at a party. What if I devote the entire month of January in my free time to build us a vending machine? Dude, can we do it? <laughs> yeah. I could probably like wire it and code it and everything. You think? Yeah, except instead of it like spiraling things out, it just dumps it. <laughs> it throws it across the room. <laughs> you pay like 20 bucks, and you get like fucking 10 packs of Doritos. It just... <laughs> 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 it drops them all at once. I was thinking yeah. we could put like a... It's like whatever beer you select, it just shoots it out like a cannon. Like just, across the room. It just goes... <laughs> boom. People, like the RC car yeah, that I, in the video yeah. I sent you. People walk in, they're like, what's this pad on the wall for? <laughs> and you're like, you want a beer? It just don't stand in front of it. <laughs> yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah, so they, they're like, why is there tape on the floor assigning you a place to stand when you buy the beer? Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, just like a potato gun. Yeah. Fill it up with like CO2 every time we use it. CO2 costs extra. <laughs> it's just you in the vending machine filling it up with fucking hairspray. Yeah. And then igniting <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm just leaning up against it like tap tap jordan somebody bought a beer <laughs> and i'm just that's just where i exist <laughs> they're like where's jordan tonight i'm like uh work <laughs> i'm doing my job he's working yeah. overtime tonight <laughs> and every time an aerosol can runs out uh the next person to buy something gets charged for the next aerosol can too <laughs> <laughs> we shoot the aerosol can out at him like a fucking cannon <laughs> <laughs> it's like trash disposal <laughs> It explodes on the other side of the room. It's it's literally just a potato gun that we load beers yeah. into. That's our that's our million dollar vending well, machine. Fuck it. I'll spend the entire month of January January. Speaking of January, you know what happens in January? What? I turn eighteen. Episode eighteen of the Episode podcast. 18. Episode I can't wait eighteen. For to be of age. Yeah, I turn I I don't turn eighteen. I'm a little bit older than that. Uh, bit. Episode 18 of the podcast. It's a good podcast. We're legal now. We're legal now. What can we do? We can we can vote. We can join the military. Uh, you can buy a house. You can move out of your parents' house. Uh, and I think that's it. Yep, that's yeah, all. That's all you can do. Hey, everybody yeah. vote. <laughs> yeah, go. Did you vote? Yeah. You did? I think so. I didn't have time. By that, I mean I got home and I was like, I sat down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I just I stayed sitting <laughs> for like hours. Yeah. And then and then by the time I stood back up it was already too late. <laughs> yeah. Polls closed. Yeah, no, I I didn't vote because and Hillary didn't win because of you. Oh, I was talking about like the recent election. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I voted in both of them. I think I was probably like 14 when Hillary was up for grabs. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, Never gonna describe it that way again. <laughs> I voted uh, in both elections, and I voted for the same person in each one. Oh yeah, who? Hillary. <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> no, I, I, I wrote Hillary in in the in the 2020 election. But <laughs> they couldn't reach her handwriting, so they just put it in for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I, fuck it! I, just any meaning, money, mo that shit. Oh gosh. Have you ever voted before at all for anything? 
Um, video game of the year. But no, like, elections or anything like that? That was. <laughs> no, 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 you know what I mean. Like a, like a legit, like, go to a poll and, like, submit your vote. That, that shit video is... game of the... I went to the courthouse. <laughs> 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 and I voted. You're I voted full of shit. Minecraft video game of the year. Did it win? 2004. 2004? <laughs> yeah, I was three. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hadn't come out in fucking six years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Elon Musk came up to me and he was like, I know. I know you know. <laughs> yeah, <we're, laughs> I know we're both time travelers. <laughs> He's sitting there as a fucking baby, just not knowing what's going on. Yeah, Elon Musk is like, he brought me there. <laughs> no, but a fucking polling place is so weird because you walk in and it's like, you better hope that your polling place is in the area that like you want to vote. Or else you're voting for someone else. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You walk in like... Governor. For, in, for uh, instance, I walked into my parents' like homes. Bathroom. Home. It's, yeah. It's like, yeah. Th- their homes... Uh, voting registry or whatever mm-hmm. wherever the fuck you're supposed to go polling place yeah polling place i know i know congress and all that good stuff yeah. i know the senate you know um, the place with the polls not the firehouse yeah not the strip club it was a firehouse it was a fire it house. was a fucking fire fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. got me got that me like so fucking funny that you said that Dude. it was a firehouse <laughs> but no you walk in they're like here's a sample ballot and it's just all filled out republican and i'm like the fuck <laughs> So do I just copy paste this yeah, yes, I, I just slide that ballot in the <laughs> yeah. they're like they're like no 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 you have to sign it, and you sign it, and they accept <laughs> it. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, you got to give them the, your address and like everything, and it's super strict. I'm like, God, eh, can I just say which person I want? Is that allowed? Yeah. So I went in there, and like I sat down. And they've got all these dividers up, like it's fucking middle school. I'm like, what is? What are we doing this for? Why? Why are we here? <laughs> And yep. you slide it in this machine, and you're like, for all I know, this fucking piece of paper could never, it could be a shredder. It could just never be seen again. You put your ballot in, and you just hear. <laughs> 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 that's, that, that, that's the ultimate, uh, like, mind fuck. They just stereotype you. They're like, we know who you're going to vote for, so we're going to put you in this booth because automatically your vote is trash. No, but, like, what if that was how it worked? Is like every voting place and, like, voting day and polls, all that shit was a myth. And the, yeah. you know, the higher ups, the elites, if you will, all just decided who was going to be what already. So they're just like, what if we could convince all these people to go out and vote and do all this shit? And then you just at the very end of all of that trouble, you just put it in a paper shredder. Yeah, at the end, <laughs> at the end of like, all of that, we elect Biden. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's basically how our voting system works. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. yeah. But Ugh. that's fucking funny. I mean, I don't know how it actually works. Uh, well, I do want a personal vending machine at some point, though. Like, we should. I'll make us one. Literally, the the time and money, like the time I'm going to have on my hands, I'm not going to know what to do. <laughs> I'm yeah. just going to I'm gonna build random shit and you won't have any say yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. Now, you whether or not I keep it in this house or it goes out beside the dumpster, like, depends how big it is. But Yeah. I can't wait to hear some of your work stories from, from your new job. Oh, yeah. And I was I was actually listening to the last podcast that we were, I think episode 14 I just listened to um and I was listening to it and I was talking about how like my future goals with my job there yeah and I was like man that was like weeks ago that was I, quick <laughs> I didn't know shit <laughs> like I'm already making like two and a half times what I was uh getting about two and a half times less sleep um, but I'm also going to have like four days a week where I can just fuck around and not have to deal with like, and like I, I literally just did laundry. <laughs> yeah. You know, I did laundry last night. Too. If there was a normal work day, I would come home from work. I'd sit on the couch and I would just look at the wall and like rethink. You would just fall asleep. I would. I would rethink my day. I'd fall asleep. I'd wake up around one o'clock, uh, have a couple beers, dick around for three hours and go back to bed at four. <laughs> yeah. And that's. This schedule is going to be uh, when I come home from work, uh, I'm going to go straight to fucking bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be tired. I'm going to get like a good couple hours of sleep. I'm going to wake up and then I'm not going to know what to do. So yeah. I'll just like get shit done. You yeah. Know? It's perfect. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. Honestly, I'm excited about this shift. I'm not going to get my Saturdays. I'm still going to have Fridays to rage. I mean, you didn't really have Saturdays to begin with. Well, right. Like I had sa- I had to work Saturday but, mornings, but, but I mean like now you recovering. Have Fridays. And Saturday mornings to recover. And I can I can rage on a Friday night, and then I have until 6 p.m. to go to work. So I have that entire day basically to recover and sleep, and then work at 12. Yeah. 
So I'll be chilling as You're long set. as I like. Yeah. And then I can rage fucking Tuesday through Friday, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's uh, exciting, dude. I'm happy yeah. for you. I, I have a feeling that I'm just going to disappear every once in a while. It'll oh, be yeah, no, it'll I've, be a Tuesday, I've and he'll be you. like, "Where are you?" And I'm like, "I'm in Maine right now. <laughs> I'll be back like Friday ish." Oh, I, well, I've missed you, like, because I don't really we we our ships passing in the nights now. I know I dapped you up the other night, like on your way to work you when I was like about to go work? to bed. Yeah, I and didn't I'm leaving for work. I didn't though because I was working. I'm working half shifts this first weekend. Next week I start my fr- my full twelves. But I got off work that night at midnight. Okay. I went to Planet Fitness. I got home around like two or three and I, I made spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I watched some TV and I kept procrastinating taking a shower because I was like, I don't know when he wakes up and I don't want to get in the shower if he like needs to use the bathroom on his way out. So around that's so kind of you that's around so thoughtful. five o'clock, I think I was like, I'll just wait. <laughs> 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 and what time did you leave? And I leave at like seven. Yeah. So me doing that as the night went on. I just kept thinking to myself, no, I should have just, sho- I should have showered a while <laughs> yeah, ago. Probably. I feel gross. I'm full of spaghetti. <laughs> I just, I want to take a shower and I want to go to bed. So I told you my story and then I went to bed and I was in bed until 930 in the morning because <laughs> the sun raised, or the sun raised, raised, rose. And I just, I got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like looking at my phone. Everyone was starting to wake up, so I was getting notifications yeah. from text messages that I had sent like throughout the night. So ding ding, and I'm like, mm, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. Uh, I'm gonna have to like turn my phone off, off. But then I won't have an alarm. I need to get an alarm clock. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Yeah, or you can just uh, put yours in the hallway. <laughs> And, have, and that way it'll wake both of us up. Yeah, like me when I'm starting to go to bed and, <laughs> and you when you're yep. just waking up. Yeah, it'll be rendered completely useless. So you said around six? Yeah. So that's when I'm going to be getting off. So I'll probably be home. When do you When do you normally leave the house? Seven. Okay, so I might see you. If you we'll, come straight home. We'll like high five on the way through. Yeah, we'll just... Or I'll like... Pass. Yeah, we'll play you chicken. You can lock the door behind me. We'll play chicken on the road. We're just... <laughs> <laughs> You know what I think would pair perfectly with your uh, 3 a.m. spaghetti? Hmm. Some fresh, hot, piping, steaming hot off the market. Arby's. French fry. Flavored vodka. Arby's. We have the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> so Arby's. Arby's fucking uh, decides to pull this massive stunt run and release a French fry flavored vodka. Yeah. They have two different uh, flavors. They have... Curly fry and crinkle cut fry. <laughs> they're both fries. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, are the, I, are I, the curly fries, I think they're seasoned differently, though. Yeah. It's like, the yeah. The crinkle fries are definitely different. It's definitely a different uh, vibe for each one. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do the Lord's work, and I'm going to see if I can find us a bottle of one or the other. Yeah, I'm going to Craigslist right now. For <laughs> Craigslist. Yeah. It's got to be I doubt it's on anywhere other than Craigslist. Yeah, it's like a, it's rarer than a PS5. <laughs> yeah. Uh but no, I'm going to try and find a fucking bottle for uh for the pod. We'll try it on the pod. We got to get one of each though. If we can. We got to I mean, finish them. It depends on how much they cost. I wonder if they'd be good for Bloody Marys. Ugh. Bloody Marys with french fry <laughs> flavored vodka. Well, what are you bloody thinking? What's what, going on in your head? What right other now? drink are you going to put it in? Yeah, fuck you. Just drink it. <laughs> yeah, but who wants to take shots of potato vodka? Like two vodka bottles. Vodka is potatoes, you fuck. <laughs> what? It's just potato vodka. I thought it was. Yeah. Isn't it vodka? I, don't, I thought it was just spiked water. <laughs> spiked, <laughs> spiked with what, Jordan? Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what fucking just vodka shove is. shove a potato in a bottle of water and wait six months. Dude, I don't know what half the shit I put in my body is. <laughs> Well, 25% of it is dicks. The other percentage is alcohol. <laughs> You're just full of alcohol and dick. <laughs> yeah, just, you just full of alcohol and dick. <laughs> That's a really good roast. I'm going to have to use that one on your mom. <laughs> Dude, you look like fucking... <laughs> Say it. Commissioner Gordon on his day off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like Commissioner Jordan, but with a G. Who do you look like? Who do you look just like? Just like Jordan Ramsey. <laughs> Jordan Ramsey, and that's a callback, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we how we do it in showbiz. We're having a good time. Yeah, (laughs) 
You look like people. You look like someone from Naked and Afraid on their on their uh, their time off. <laughs> Because you're clothed but still afraid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you mean on their time off the rest of their lives? <laughs> yeah. Dude, they train their entire lives for that one week of like being naked in the wilderness with like someone else. And then after that, they get squid gamed. <laughs> Dude, am I the only one that thought naked and afraid was just going to have like copious amounts of boning in it? Well, have you seen, they came out with a show called Naked and, uh, or Naked, I don't know, a Naked and... I don't know what it was. It's like a spinoff of Naked and Afraid, but it's like, it's also like a dating thing that they like, it's like blind dating Naked and Afraid where they send in a bunch of couples to like mingle That's so while weird. surviving. That is we should so watch, weird. We should we watch should it sometime. We should definitely watch it. We yeah, should it's definitely so, watch it. We should get like, but that is, that is strange. We should get uh, I, Naked and Afraid off the green and watch it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought, Naked <laughs> 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 nature and afraid <laughs> nature that's it's just that's just it's a commercial for weed very low budget it's just <laughs> nature and paranoid <laughs> that's just me whenever i leave the house <laughs> <laughs> no i always thought fucking uh naked and afraid was kind of false advertising i was like dude this sucks it's all censored it should be called fucking censored and afraid <laughs> Censored, Cen- oh yeah, censored and cock blocked is what it yeah. should be called it's like those those japanese anime porns but like it's like animated but they still have like the but, dick sensor yeah and they're just crying about like ticks and like bamboo you know yeah. <laughs> well like, i don't think we watch the same thing <laughs> I, I, you, I think that's you i think that's Desert? african there's porn. like jungles no no <laughs> whoa oh hey. oh hey. simmer down 10 to 25 percent off there squirrely Jordan. fun fact Oh my God! What does that mean? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they, they use up too much energy and die. Anyway, dude, speaking of cut ri- that, <laughs> getting rid of that that fucking segment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, speaking of getting rid of that segment, Kim fucking ditched Kanye's ass. Oh, I thought you were gonna say ditched Pete. <laughs> no, ditched Kanye ditched for Pete. Dude, have you seen the picture? It's uh, it was. I think the caption was um. When a hostess uh, starts going out with, uh, like, the dishwasher, and it's Pete Davidson, like, with his, like, tongue, tongue sticking out, like, throwing, a, like, a peace sign below Kim with Kanye's arm around Kim. <laughs> 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 like, that's such a hard picture. Dude, uh, but, yeah, over, since we talked about it last, I know we did. I don't remember where, but we talked about it. Um, you got epic. You got epic uh, news. Got epic updates. They're officially dating, my man. Oh my gosh! I it's just, almost like it's obvious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was only speculations at first, but I knew that's the road it was headed down. But well, yeah, they've made it official now. And uh, I just saw a tabloid today where it showed him leaving, uh, like some, I guess maybe her house with like a giant fucking hickey on his neck. And I was like, dude, my on man, his neck. Yeah, my Dude, man's fucking sm- smashed, bagged, and grabbed Ariana Grande yeah, and Kim yeah. K in the same lifetime. Bro, Beyonce next. Like who? Yeah, yeah. Who's, who's <laughs> next? Yeah, Ever, no one's safe. He's gonna Yo. smash all the Kardashians. Yo, I am confident that I cannot be in a relationship until Pete Davidson is either dead or married. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I will never feel safe. I'll never be happy. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll always live in fear of uh, him stealing uh, my man, my woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me, you know, <laughs> stealing me yeah. from my woman. Don't don't you take him from me, Pete? <laughs> don't you take my Carter? <laughs> Oh His my next gosh. special is just going to be called Getting It Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Kept it up. <laughs> Kept it up with the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, he's going to have a fucking orgy with all the sisters. Oh. We'll cut that out. That's disgusting. That's oh, gross. Incest? <laughs> it's not gay if it's in a three-way, but I think it's incest if... It's in a three-way? <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, the Kardashians... Uh, I've been getting into to stock trading. Stock. I've been, <laughs> I've, been, I've, been get, I've been getting into stock trading a little bit recently. <laughs> okay, um, fucking Chris Jenner. <laughs> I've been. Yes. <laughs> I've been getting into stock trading a little bit, trying to make that sh money. Um, and I've been investing. I think I've, maybe I talked about this last podcast. I'm investing mainly in like electric vehicles and like future going companies. Oh, um, what, you invested in Tesla? No, actually, I'm investing in um, secondhand Tesla. Uh, basically the goodwill of Tesla, <laughs> but no, um, I'm investing in a couple companies so far. I've made about $40 in my investments 
if I were to cash out now. <laughs> like um, <a> casino? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm going to leave it in, and over the course of the next 10 years, hopefully uh, I will have uh, Pete Davidson money. You'll just have Well, $50 no, hopefully I'll have Kardashian money. It'll fluctuate. Realistically, I'll have Pete Davidson money. <laughs> it'll, yeah, it'll just fluctuate. It'll fluctuate, and you'll just still have 50 bucks. <laughs> um, but I just saw on online, and this is not fake, this is real, a uh, new electric vehicle is dropping, and... It's basically like a Volkswagen van. It's a German company that's making it. It's like a Volkswagen ba- van, but it's futuristic. Um, it's all electric, and like the back, it can be taken apart so the back comes off, so it can be turned into a truck, it be a van. It's like segmented, so you can like build it how you want to. It's just a build a car, um, and it's called the E Bussy. <laughs> what? Yeah, they called it the E Bussy. How do they spell it? E B U S S Y, like the E bussy. E bussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no they, yeah. Way. They literally, you can Fuck. look it up. Look it up for yourself. They named it the E bussy. Oh my god, it's fucking hilarious. We and need, I immediately invested two hundred dollars. We need. Did you actually? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god, dude, it better skyrocket or else I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking it. That's in the actually E-bussy. probably good good fucking call. Yeah, because if you invest when their stocks only cost about like. Ten dollars. When their stocks, I can get ten of those stocks. When those stocks are twenty, if I'm at two hundred, when those stocks reach ten thousand, then I'm making ten thousand per fucking share. Yeah, I don't know if that makes it. Uh, yeah, stocks, market, <laughs> stocks yeah. and bonds. You know what you're doing. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm so lost, dude. I'm throwing money at random electric cars. And- <laughs> Hoping they take off like Tesla. That's really all I'm doing, dude. Damn, but the like, bussy, dude. I think I, I think I need two. <laughs> so far in all of my investments, I've lost seven dollars. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, but I mean, long term, hopefully it'll. And still, like I invested in Ford. I've made seven dollars off of Ford. I invested in this one company. I've made twenty off of them, and I invested in this one company, and I lost. Uh, I lost thirty off of them. Oh no! Yeah, but hopefully they'll bring it back up, and if I uh, if it brings back to even, I'm cashing out. <laughs> I'm not gonna take that risk anymore. Right. Yeah, don't fuck with that. Yeah, that's too much. Too much of a risk. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to stock and bonds. <laughs> know when, when to cash out. <laughs> know when to cash out. <laughs> know yeah. when to run. Yeah, but I got I got dreams of having money. I got dreams of having cars. Honestly, that the e bussy I would like to have one. Dude, let's eighteen thousand dollars. That's not much at all. Eighteen thousand, but For it's an all electric, electric vehicle. Yeah, but so right now you I th- probably can't import it though. Or well, they it? will. They will be uh, domestic sales in the U.S. Oh fuck yeah! Um, eighteen thousand dollars. I don't know if that's gonna be our price though, because it does have to come from a German company to the u.s so i'm sure it'll get marked up to like thirty thousand dollars oh yeah for sure even then for like a mini electric truck the thing looks pretty fucking sick i'm not gonna lie i, I would love it. i would love to have one i'm gonna have to look it up actually pretty cool car and hilarious name in it of itself yeah dude, like own e it just for the meme i want an e-bussy fuck dude, <laughs> dude i want an e-bussy so bad yeah i need two e-bussies just in case one gets worn out you know yeah my only concern is um <laughs> Like what? What if uh, electric cars in the future, instead of having like a key or whatever, you just put a password in the side? You just beep boop 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 boop, and you unlock your car, and you. Yo, my you know? guy, that shit has been around for decades. No, but I'm I'm saying like an actual like like word password. Oh, like, like a touch screen. Yeah, like like, like a... for Facebook or like for something like that, where like it's like your your digits. You have to have uppercase and lowercase, oh, dude, and I like would have hate a number. That. Imagine getting like mugged at your car and yeah. you're just trying to get in. You're like, your, fucking <laughs> your password resets. Pineapple seventy nine. <laughs> uh, earlier this week, uh, the podcast Instagram the the uh, the password reset on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, did it? And it, yeah, so um, my first thought <laughs> was I went to go like check out because I've been posting some reels on the the account. Go I check went them to go, out if you have go yeah. Already. Oh yeah, go check the reels out. And if you haven't already, fuck you. What are you doing? Go check yeah. them out. Yeah, and fuck if you off, if you have guy. already, go show someone. Yeah, show go your show, friends. Go, show go your mom. Share it. Show your mom. Show your mom and dad. Um, but yeah, I went to type or I went to log in, and it had signed me out of the podcast account. <laughs> so my first thought, and I'm this is no joke. My first thought, and I mean this. That bastard Carter changed the password <laughs> and he's trying to take the podcast from me. <laughs> yeah. I literally 
I was like, it logged me out because he changed the password. He's about to go underneath of my nose, kick me out, and take the podcast. <laughs> take all the followers. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, dude. You so know I was, like, mad at you for no reason. You know what's fucking double hilarious? Huh? You know what's even funnier that you say that? What? You, you didn't like how you said funnier? You said double hilarious, so you had to redo it? Yeah. Are you going to cut that out? Yeah. I fucking hate you, dude. That was fine. No. <laughs> he said no <laughs> Alright say what you're gonna say Say what you mean to say The funniest part about that is That you didn't even give me the password To the Instagram You just signed me into it I don't even know the password It's been the same pa- I've, I told you the password Do you want me to tell <laughs> you it right now Yeah tell it right now Yeah Yeah go ahead I'm not going to I'll Because it out. I'm afraid you won't edit I'll it out I'll bleep it out No you won't Yeah I will Anyways, so back on the topic of uh, me irrationally being angry at Carter. <laughs> um, for things I didn't do. For things that you haven't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> so For the things that you might do but haven't done yet. Yeah. You haven't locked me out yet, but at any moment, either one of us. The thing is, I made the account, though. So even if you change the password, I can go back through and I can re like I can go back through Instagram and I can steal it back from you <laughs> yeah. because I know how. I wouldn't steal that from you. And I think the Gmail is under my name too. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like trying to steal your TV by putting it in my room. <laughs> You'd be like, "Is that my TV?" And be like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> give that. Give did it you back. steal? Did, did you steal the Instagram? No. <laughs> did you touch my drum set? <laughs> but uh, so. I I have irrational thoughts about you sometimes, oh, and I know I know you have irrational thoughts about me sometimes because you don't like me, and that's incredibly irrational. <laughs> um, but uh, I had a, I had a dream one time, and I'm not saying this is the reason I don't have a girlfriend because the reason I don't have a girlfriend is because I can't find a girlfriend. <laughs> but um, I had I I don't know being being living with another male. And not being home while your girlfriend's home, while your roommate's home. <laughs> you know? You know. You oh. know. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah, you know. We know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We all know. <laughs> your nightmare is my fear, okay? Hearing, yeah. I had a dream the other night that I came home from work and I went up to my room and you were fucking my girlfriend in my own bed. Dude, you had yeah. a cheating I, dream I about a, me? Yeah, I had a legitimate like dream. And I woke up and I was like, that fucking bastard. You fucking bitch, bro. Because our dreams connected. Because you were having a dream that you were cheating on uh, me with my girlfriend. No. Yeah, we were, having, like, we were having connecting <laughs> dreams. You were fucking is, my girlfriend in your dream. <laughs> and I came home and you were, yeah. <laughs> no. And this is the <laughs> no. craziest part because... Never heard a guy actually have that side of things. It's uh, it was usually- vivid. <laughs> it was literally you were laying sideways and you were like just starting to get it going because I imagine you don't really have the strength to hold yourself up during sex. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you were like laying on your side and you're like spooning on a fucking dude. It does it was- get tiring at times. <laughs> <laughs> it does. You gotta build up that that stamina. Sometimes I'm like, can I lay down now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you be on top? <laughs> Build up that sexy stanima. Stanima. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I got I fucking got mad at you, and I made the mistake of um telling is, a coworker at work this story. Is this why you've been passively aggressively texting me in the mornings? You mean like when you leave our front door wide open? No, that was because you left our front door wide open. <laughs> That's not because I woke up and I had a nightmare about you having sex with someone I love. When did you have this nightmare? Uh. When was the most recent time I had this nightmare? <laughs> you had it multiple times. <laughs> no, I've only had this one. I've only had once. Jesus Christ! Yeah, I don't know. I think it was uh maybe like fuck a month. Do you think I am? Maybe like a month or two ago, probably something like that. Pretty recently, and um, I told one of my coworkers this story, and he was like, "Dude, what if you came home one day and you went upstairs and you just found like Carter?" having sex with your girlfriend but they both OD'd and died in your fucking bed what and I was like holy shit and I, I know. OD'd on what I, anything what the yeah. fuck I was like dude that's really who cool. said that oh I'll, I'll kill him <laughs> dude, no but I was like he was like what if you came home from work one day and like he had OD'd having sex with like your girlfriend in your bed and they'd both died we in your bed we both just just 
Out like a light. What did we take? <laughs> yeah, any. I don't fucking know what you guys were doing. Sex was that good. We both just died afterwards. Yeah, clearly I the wasn't fuck? there taking it with you, or else you guys wouldn't be having sex. <laughs> you know, we'd all be having sex and we'd all OD together. <laughs> yeah, I'd be. Just, no, no, yeah. So am I like the Freddy Krueger of your dreams? Freddy Krueger. Uh, I haven't seen those movies. <laughs> he's he's just the dream guy. Oh, like that the dream guy from that episode of Rick and Morty? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Scary Terry. You are. Yeah. Get off my back, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I am. Maybe I'm the Freddy Krueger of my dreams because I'm just creating nightmares for myself. You know I'd never do that to you though, right? Yeah, I trust because you. I, it's not that I don't trust you or I don't trust the person I'm with. It's I don't trust my imagination. You know, it's like a fucking Gary's Mod sandbox up there of what could happen. <laughs> really just free will to like create some fucked up shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, man, it's just Minecraft creative mode I'm, up there. I'm just constantly playing TTT up there. <laughs> Getting betrayed. You know, you're playing prop hunt. <laughs> you're like, all right, I trust you, and he shoots you in the back when you're in the clock tower. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. You're proven, but you're kind of sus still. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but the funny thing is, is like, first off, I have a girlfriend. Good for you. That I would never do that to. You want Second cookie? of all... Oh, yeah, that's valid. I would never do that to you regardless Yeah. of... Whether I had a girlfriend or not. And I don't even know what I would do with your body. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, it's fucking awkward and long. You'd have to dig, like, a <laughs> six by six foot hole. <laughs> yeah. No, six by, I wouldn't six by seven. Yeah. I you, just dig, you just dig a five foot long hole and just, like, V me down in there and I just lawn chair down the <laughs> hole. I was going to say, the hole that I dig is not going to be comfortable for your corpse. Yeah, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. make it pleasurable for your dead body. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee. Yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be miserable, miserable long past your fucking death. Bury me face down. <laughs> yeah, face down, ass up. Fold me 12 yeah. times. <laughs> I'm going to bury you on your side spooning <laughs> I'm spooning my ex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be there too. Yeah. Because we OD'd. <laughs> yeah, you both OD'd. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. But, uh, no. but ruin the rest of my fucking day. He said that and I just did. He said that and I just didn't talk to him for the rest of the day. Yeah. I like put my headphones in. I did my job. I went home and I drank. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Why have you not talked to me about this? We could have cleared the air. We could have squashed the beef. I, I didn't want. Uh, two. <laughs> there's no beef to squash, but like, <laughs> just, there's no squash to beef, you know? I don't know. Yeah. No, I feel bad. I feel like you think I'd actually do that to you. No, I've had some really unrealistic dreams. And that would really just all around fuck up the podcast, <laughs> you know? Have you like fucked my yeah. girlfriend? <laughs> you think, how many episodes we just, do you think you'd we run? We would just stop. <laughs> yeah. we would the podcast. <laughs> how many <laughs> podcasts would just fucking end and no one would know why? <laughs> We'd, I'd make one post and be like, sorry guys, one of us cheated on the other's, <laughs> other's girlfriend. Podcast is ruined, guys. Sorry, we're yeah. done. How many, realistically though, if one of us uh, had sex with the other's girlfriend, how many episodes do you think we could run before like we just like killed each other? I don't think if, well, if the roles were reversed from your dream, I wouldn't ever do another episode with you. I mean, I think I would run an episode with you, but from like... Judge Judy's courtroom. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, just yeah, run yeah. a podcast. Yeah, we're in the live mics. Like, yeah, we're just we have like little ear pierces. And it's ear all pieces. for a they're bit. Like, they're like take it off. It's all for a bit because we still love each other no matter what. <laughs> we need to start uh, mobile with this podcast. I want to do one. Um, I want to see how long we could run an episode in a library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before we in got a kicked. bathroom. <laughs> and, yeah, in a public restroom, maybe in a sheets or a gas station. Uh, I want to do one in a McDonald's. Do you think we could run an entire podcast from a porta john? Yeah, uh, two of them. <laughs> <laughs> two separate? Yeah, we just saws up a hole in the side between the two. No, we have to cram into one. And, and I, got- I would just sit in the <laughs> the. Uh, I'll sit on the toilet. And you can sit on my lap. <laughs> you put the put the laptop and shit on your lap, and we lean apart from each other so we don't make any echo. Yeah, we want. Uh, you won't have to. What's worry. the bathroom crucible called? The cauldron. What's it called? The urinal? Urinal. <laughs> <I> would, <laughs> what? The, the, the fucking what? The piss cauldron or what? what yeah, the piss it? cauldron. Yeah, Holy I would just sit, I would sit in the urinal and you would sit on the toilet and we would just kind of like open up the laptop and kind of wedge it on the, like, <laughs> the toilet paper holder. Yeah. And then I would just keep my jack in my hand. <laughs> I'd keep my jack in my hand. <laughs> my jack in hand my hand and jack <laughs> dude that reminds me of this great meme i saw today it was a picture of uh the johnny depp willy wonka yeah and it was like hey anyone up wonkin they willy right now <laughs> and it made me laugh really hard 
Dude, I was going to send it to you, but I'd already sent you three things, and I didn't want it to get over. Dude, you had that. Th- I had that thought today. Dude, I <laughs> sent you. I sent you the the RC, the little car thing. I sent you uh, the Peter Griffin high meme, and I was looking at something. I was like, Carter would like this, and I saw you hadn't opened those yet, and I was like. I can't. <laughs> It'll overshadow. I saved it. Yeah, I, <laughs> saved, I, saved, I saved the fucking Willy Wonka I picture. I fucking saved it for later. Oh my god! <laughs> it's scary how Dude, fucking in tune we I are. Just, I don't want to be needy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want. I don't want to over text. You, know? you know exactly what would have happened if you'd sent me that third fucking meme today. Uh-uh. I would have looked at it at work and I'd been like, this motherfucker needs to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, a job. Motherfucker's off all day. He's <laughs> not doing shit but sending me memes. My job is cleaning your messes when you're at work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I left him. Go work in sheets, bitch. <laughs> I'm not going to clean up after you. Yeah, go work in sheets. Dude, I could I could work DoorDash. No, I couldn't. I have a ticket. <laughs> I don't think you can. I, I heard that you're not allowed to work uh, Uber or like Uber Eats or DoorDash doesn't, as you have. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Oh, I just lie. <laughs> I just say that I'm Jordan Blaker, like, <laughs> like on the podcast account. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a criminal. Sometimes I just criminalize, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Throwback. Dude. Laws are meant to be uh, kept and broken. Speaking of uh, criminal activity and laws, everyone here knows uh, New York has legal marijuana laws. It's legal there? Yes. 100%. Dude, imagine. It's legal here. But I'm anyway. sure, like, the thing <laughs> is, and you're so bunched together, too, I feel like you at least have one neighbor that smokes weed. So, really, everyone here is spoiled. You're talking about New York? Yeah, I you feel know like New York's not just like an, an entire state of city, right? Mm-mm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> have you have you been to New York recently? I have. It's grown. Not to the city part. Within the last 200 years, it's gotten like really big. Yeah. Yeah. But that's I, the city. That's on the end. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we yeah. weren't in the city. Oh, okay. So me, oh, my bad. Me and my sister had gone on a little weekend trip up to Niagara Falls. It was fun. Yeah, it was a great time. But while we were there, we stayed in a hotel overnight so we could see it in the morning as well. Mm. So we <laughs> we didn't we couldn't open the windows of the hotel or anything like that. So we decided not to smoke in the hotel. So mm. we're like, we'll just go for a little joyride and explore Niagara Falls, New York. Which, right? We were we were in this hotel and we decided to go grocery shopping while we were out. So we went on a little J ride. We yeah. cruised the city at night with all the lights and stuff because it, it was like winter, so people. The city like is in night. like Niagara Falls. Yeah. Okay. It's just this little city around the falls. Okay. I was imagining you smoking a J going through like Court Square or like no, no like no, no, the no. square of New York, just bumper to bumper traffic the no, whole way, we, just panic smoking. We did roll up to the fucking Canadian border smoking a J though. That's we hard. Like, um, let's turn around. <laughs> Cross it, I dare you. <laughs> I tried to run for it, but they stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they st- They're yeah. like, hey. Hey, 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 don't do that. They're <laughs> like, hey, sorry, you can't come over here. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. 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 About that, eh. Sorry to <laughs> inconvenience you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, can we get a, a Canadian dude to say sorry to inconvenience you? Yeah. Well, and that's just our intro from we, now on. We got to do a cameo. Yeah. But so we went grocery shopping and we, and we picked out some food and I happened to... Make a gamble, and I got a frozen mac and cheese dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and so it's not a gamble. That's always a win. It was a gamble because I didn't know if our hotel had a microwave in it. Got a lighter. Well, <laughs> so yeah, no. some some warm hands. But we went and we went up to the hotel room, and I was like, "Fuck, this place doesn't have a microwave, mm-hmm. and it doesn't have a fucking uh, freezer." Was there like a, a public one? Like, I'm sure if you wandered, like, the halls or something. So, we wandered the halls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you looked for one? We wandered, I thought you just gave up. We wandered the halls with a box of frozen mac and cheese. <laughs> high as God's tits. <laughs> Fucking in this hotel in the middle of New York we didn't know about. Like, we what? Weren't, we weren't natives, so we were just wandering around. We find a microwave in the lobby. And yeah. it's, like, right, yeah. ac- right across from the front desk. Yeah. So, I'm high as shit fucking baking this mac and cheese for like it, it it's one of the ones that takes like six minutes <laughs> and you're like covering yourself like yeah i'm like i'm trying not what to time of night was this it was like probably 10 or 11 p.m okay so at least it was still like not three o'clock in the morning no it was it was like there were people running around oh there. so it, yeah so there was, was still too worse. many people <laughs> yeah yeah you're right it was worse yeah but no so the funniest part was we got out of the lobby and we were like Let's get the fuck out of here. 
We're home free. <laughs> yeah. We fucking get in the elevator. We shove like the spam the door close button so the door closes faster. And then we fucking we start going up and we're like we just lean back against the walls. I think I got down on my knees and I was like, oh, my God, I'm so high. I can't believe we made it out of that hell. Yeah. Ding! The the fucking elevator stops on the next floor. <laughs> Dude, you the door, idiot! The door starts opening, and I'm on my knees with you're mac on, and cheese. You're on your knees, like holding a mac and cheese, like it's the fucking Bible, <laughs> like it's like the it's Last <laughs> Supper, <laughs> like it's a goddamn Holy Grail, <laughs> like fucking. And my sister, it's Sir Arthur, judging you when he walks <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> my sister just. Just like straightens up and gets serious, and I stand up immediately. I don't know if the woman saw me. It was this little Asian woman, probably the size of Bobby Lee. Shout out, bad friends, Andrew Santino. Yeah, Bobby Lee. shout out, bad friends. You should have just doubled down. Yeah, and you should have laid down. What, the, what happened yeah. was, is we stood up both serious as hell. I'm standing in the elevator. The door closes. <laughs> me, my sister, small like five foot Asian woman. She can't even see what you're holding. You're so tall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm sitting there holding a bowl of macaroni and cheese that is steaming in my face. <laughs> And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, "Do not laugh! Do not laugh! Do not Dude, laugh! Do not laugh!" And my sister, my sister goes, <laughs> and I fucking lost it. I blew my top. I was like, <laughs> "Little Asian lady ran away and reported you to like reported you to authorities." Like, no, so it gets to our floor. Yeah, and I just I go, I walk out quietly as. <laughs> Just, yeah. as as Just pretending like the next seven seconds of my elevator ride didn't exist. Just simply. And I just get out and I hear the door close behind me and I just collapse with my fucking <laughs> mac and yeah. cheese in the hallway. Just on the floor, just like yeah. dying laughing. And then I, the door opens back up and the Asian lady comes out and she was like, this was my exit too. <laughs> I just didn't want to get out. And you were like, you were on your knees again and you lost. <laughs> No, dude. <laughs> she probably did. She probably went all the way up to the top and then came back down just like to kill time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the funniest fucking things that ever happened. Dude, holy life. shit. That's When was this? This is over the winter. Oh, like last year? Yeah. I got you. Okay. Yeah, it was recently. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited because with my 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 work schedule, I I'm just going to fuck off for days. So, I'm going to definitely what we should do, I was just thinking this, what we should do is we should record a podcast at every, uh, like, one of the, is it Seven Wonders of the World? <laughs> we should run a podcast from uh, the city, Niagara Falls, or uh, waterproof everything and do it, like, on the water. That would be tough. Um, we should do an episode at the Grand Canyon, um, and then the other five, <laughs> whatever those are, <laughs> they're probably just as beautiful as those two. Are those two actual things? Huh? Are they actual wonders of the world? I, I believe so, yeah. I know the Grand Canyon is. I don't know if uh, Niagara Falls is. Carter's doing a, uh, what I can only, uh, <laughs> I can only imagine a pee dance. We need those portable toilets, man, so we can, we can continue potting while I pee. We're gonna do a pee pod. Pee pod. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, real quick, I'm gonna interrupt you. Brent got punched in the throat today at his work. I saw that. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Speaking of family members, good friends and good times. Good friends and bad friends. Shout out, uh, shout out, uh, Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino. Bad friends. Bad friends. Sh- 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 Andrew. Yeah. Do Speaking a- of good friends and bad friends, do you have? Uh, do you know who your person of the week is, good buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually. You do? And it kind of goes along with what we were talking about today. So uh, let's hash this out quick. We got a lot to go through here. Yeah. So my person of the week is going to be a fellow named Andy. A felony? Felony. Named Andy? Yeah. Andy? It's a felony D. Um, a fellow D named Andy? Yeah. Got him? Okay. Yep. Andy. A uh, fellow, fellow named Andy. Uh, he used to work with my ex-girlfriend. Um, when she got a new job, she started working with this one dude and his name was Andy and he never left her alone. Constantly talked about him, how she, he would like come up and just like rub her back every now and then. He was super creepy. He was like a little e-boy. Like, you know, how, how dare he? Yeah. Yeah. Make her so uncomfortable. Well, no, here's the thing is, um, so it got to the point where, you know, your boy had to step in Mm -hmm. and so shouldn't have, uh, what I did was I sent him a very respectful text. I probably still have it somewhere. Really? Screenshots of it. It's a very respectful text. It's just like, hey, man, just don't do this anymore. And, and 
and we'll be cool. Yeah. You know? So he took it as a threat. <laughs> as took, idiots do. He took, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He took it as a threat. This is, before I get into anything, person of the week, this is a beef for sure. Okay. A person of the week classified beef. Registered beef on target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got Wendy's you. beef. Um, yeah. And so double bacon. He uh, he kept going, mm-hmm. and so it got to the point where uh, my girlfriend at the time had was like, "I'm gonna just get a new job," and so she get him he, fired. He said some shit. He was the owner's son, so get him fired. Good luck. But. What so, do you, what do you, are you gonna like fire a girl for being sexually harassed? That's take her, take him to court too. Yeah, I don't take know. them both to court. It's whatever. Yeah, but I don't give a shit about either I, one of them anymore. I personally, this is a fast track to making money, and you, they just both of you just skipped over it. Like, take the son and the father both to court. Take the dad's money. <laughs> <laughs> Simply, anyways, you don't even need a job at that point. You don't gotta find another job. You're making bank off that good old that good old. Uh, uh, b- 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 mm, I can't remember her name. <laughs> Hold on, Judge Judy money. Anyways, <laughs> what was that? I don't know, <laughs> dude. That's not even gonna be. You're not even gonna be able to edit that because you don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> Anyways, Judge Judy money. I mean, uh, your person of the week. So no, he. Um, <laughs> I'm lost now. That's Where fine. Am I? Uh, I, she had to quit, change quit jobs. Uh, no, so. He had said something about me a couple days later, mm. and he was like, yo, if your boyfriend ever shows up in this place again, I'm going to stab him, no questions asked. Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I was like, my man, for, okay, so she told him that, or he told her that, and so she, when she told me that, I was like, okay, I don't plan on going there again anyway. I mean, it's not really my kind of place, yeah. but... um. So I was like, also the 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 shop that she worked in had glass windows, so like, I <laughs> you can't stab me through a glass. You know, it's just like yeah. you, there's no way you win. Yeah, so, it's like rock paper scissors. So yeah, know? this this kid thought he was hot shit. Wasn't. There was one person that I can think of off the top of my head that we were both single around the same time. She got into a relationship a little bit before me. And then I was like, all right, we'll see how long this lasts. And then she got married, and I was like, oh, well, Ew, my blunder. <laughs> I was like, I was like, damn. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Well, I mean, good for them. I mean, they're happy. They're living. Yeah. I couldn't get married at um. If it's the person I'm thinking 18, about. 18, yeah, it is. If it's the person I'm thinking about, it is. blonde hair, mm-hmm. yeah, you don't want any part of that. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be forced into a life you didn't want to be in. Height-wise, there's about like a, a zip code between the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me and you. <laughs> yeah. Dude, should we date? Should we get married? Dude. Dude. It's no. already done. Mm. <laughs> Dude, Vegas. Anyway. Vegas is the uh, the third wonder of the world. Speaking of all the wonders of the world, who is your person of the week? My person of the week is definitely a wonder of the world uh, because I wonder who it is. <laughs> Um, so I guess my person of the week I've got to say is it's also going to be a little bit of a, um, on hand, like hands on site kind of a situation. 100% USDA grade beef. Honestly, a person that if I wasn't completely deaf, I probably would have thrown hands with. <laughs> 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 if I, like, Go on. So the situation, uh, it was, I think my, my first ever break working my new job. Um, they have this, they have four break rooms. Mm-hmm. It's a massive warehouse. They have four break rooms, and each break room has a wall of vending machines, uh, fresh food, so frozen. F- literally, it's like a mini grocery store in yeah. all four break rooms. So I'm go. I'm looking. I get me like a nice uh, patty melt, which is like it's like a a piece of bread, like a nice toasted bread with a burger, some cheese, and another piece of bread in a little package. You shove it in the like microwave. A cheeseburger. Yeah, but it's <laughs> but it's like like bread like proper like nice gucci bread gucci bread dude it's a, hey hey that shit pro- hey that shit it was no it was some good bread that shit <laughs> louis vuitton so. yeah dude <laughs> that shit proud of i tell you what i blew a bag on some bread but it was like really five dollars so i went to go <laughs> microwave it and when i did i opened up the microwave and someone had like just left their food in the microwave you know yeah okay so I, I take it out, and what I didn't hear is this dude go, hey, take it out and put the lid on it. 
<laughs> so I take it out. I sit on top of the microwave next to the lid. I put my food in there, throw it in for like a minute, right? Yeah. Uh, this this girl uh, in the corner uh, looks at me and she was like, hey, uh, he told you uh, to, you could go ahead and take it out and put the lid on it. And I only heard the first half of her sentence. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just took it out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm microwaving my food. And this this dude comes over and he's like, I said fucking put the lid on it. He puts the lid on it. And I'm like, my guy, there, there's a lot of us in here. We're all trying to eat. Why don't you just like wait for your food to cook? Or deal you know? with it yourself. Yeah, do it your fucking... Like, I'm not going to... I'm not. I don't want to touch your food in general. I'm just trying to eat my food, you know? Yeah, get your shit out of the microwave. Like, put your food in. Like, put the lid on it. What Are you, are you afraid it's going to get cold in our 30-minute break? <laughs> I'm helping you cool it off so you can eat it in an efficient time. Like, yeah, why fucking, don't you fucking settle eat down. It? Like, sit, sit beside the microwave, wait for your food to cook, and then take it out so that the next person can heat can heat their fucking patty melt <laughs> yeah. you know what was he doing while the I don't, fucking I guess food he like there. went over to the refrigerator and was grabbing a drink and buying a drink or whatever just like fucking collect yourself get a wit you <laughs> yeah, know get a wit and like eat your, your food when it's heat done your food take it to your table and then get your drink <laughs> you know instead of putting it in and trying to multitask i get we get 30 minutes for like our lunch break or whatever. It's a pretty long time to eat. And it's drink, long enough to eat and wait in line. I mean, there's a lot of people, so the line wasn't short. But at the same time, like, don't inconvenience me because you are um, thirsty. Right. You know, like or That's fucked up. Better yet, water is free. <laughs> Have a water. You yeah. know, I get you're working a 12 hour shift. He had the attitude of someone working a 12 hour night shift. Yeah, I think that's he's just been there too long. <laughs> You know, he's probably so I, a good guy. So I gave him some some grace, and I didn't cave in his face. <laughs> you know, <laughs> how much taller than you was he? Wasn't, but he was a stocky dude. Oh, yeah, he was like a. Would he have beaten you? <sighs> Not if I'd ran. <laughs> would you have had to get the first punch in and made it a good one? <laughs> no, it would have been a fight. It would have been fun. <laughs> that being said, I'm overly confident. So I probably yeah. would have gotten much. I probably would have gotten my throat stepped on. Yeah. <laughs> even. Yeah. <laughs> You know, maybe even stabbed for not buying Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, for not, yeah for not buying Call of Duty for not putting a lid on your food. Yeah. you know, your fucking own fucking food. Do it yourself. You know, like it's not that difficult. <laughs> I don't know. Make your own fucking food. I'm not your mom. I'm not gonna clean up after you. I'm not gonna make your lunch for you. Like fucking right. Do it yeah, yourself, fuck, Randy. Yeah, fuck that guy, Randy. Fuck, fuck you, Randy. Fuck you, Randy. I'm gonna get his name because he sits in the same spot every day. I'm just gonna walk over, sit across from him, look him in the eyes. And then while he's eating, I'm just going to put the lid on his food. <laughs> <laughs> and, then gonna, and then leave. <laughs> so put the lid on his food and then brush it slowly <laughs> onto the floor. Put it back in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put it in the microwave and set it for 15 minutes, which I didn't know microwaves could do. In 15 minutes, it just fucking take off. Uh, ours can't. I think ours maxes out at... No, the one of the dealership that I used to work at maxed out at five minutes. It's like maxing out at uh, 50 kilowatts? Yeah, because I used to get one of the microwavable lunches, and I'd put it in. It would say, like, six to six and a half minutes, and I'd hit it until it hit five, and then it would just wouldn't go past that. So I'd have to wait a minute and then <laughs> hit add 30 seconds twice for it to, like, keep fucking adding time to it. Oh, God. You know? No one wants to – which, in reality, in reality, in reality <laughs> you know what? We should start investing in property. <laughs> I was thinking that the other day. I was like, I was like, if I one of the first things I want to buy with this new job is uh, I want to buy a couple cars, and I don't want to talk about realty anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I want to I want to buy a house, but I'm gonna get like a couple cars too. Couple car garage or the house, dude? Because yeah. I'm making some, I'm making enough sh money to be able to survive and thrive. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's good shit. Yeah, and Love I would like. What if I got caught cutting the muffler off of my car in the parking lot and they evicted us because I was working on my car in the parking lot? They wouldn't. I don't think they would. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I doubt someone would call the cops, so I think at least we would be one step up from our neighbors. Yeah, our fucking leasing office, by the way, has a stupid set of rules that fucking says we can't work on our cars in the parking lot and I'm like bitch Ridiculous. if it breaks it breaks <laughs> yeah not all of us have fucking brand new equal <laughs> yeah I, I'm just like 
I'm just like my my fucking car is quiet and I can't it can't be quiet like you it know it must be loud it must be loud I'm thinking about um cutting my muffler off and putting that uh, cherry bomb muffler on it yep. but sliding it all the way back so it's still just straight pipe yeah. <laughs> it just looks it's like just it. stick the cherry bomb off the header <laughs> dude I just I just like zip tie it and duct tape it to the uh, the spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just there it's still just as quiet and with a with a sign a sign hanging from it saying uh i could have this on it but why but why <laughs> yeah but why and it's, why? Shoot, it's shooting flames out the back but from like bad reasons <laughs> <laughs> not, not because it's like high horsepower it's just because it's on fire <laughs> dude i'm so excited to not have that car I can't wait for you to sell it and see what you get next bud yeah and i i told you i told carter this uh on my my first shift, on my way to my first shift, <laughs> um, I was going down the interstate, and I was I was pulling up kind of beside a tractor trailer. He was going maybe seventy, and I was going maybe faster than that. And I so I'm I'm like like gently passing him. You know, yeah. my car's not fast. I'm gently passing him, and I see this thing get kicked up, and I <laughs> it happened too fast for me to do anything, and I couldn't tell what it was, and I'm blind anyways. Um, but this thing got kicked out from underneath of the semi truck and it slammed in the front of my car. And immediately I do what any rational human being should do, you know, in that situation. Yeah. I didn't pull over. <laughs> <laughs> I, tur- I turned my music off. <laughs> okay. I was listening to the engine, which in hindsight, if I cut the, uh, the muffler off, I wouldn't have been able to hear anything anyways. Yeah, um, that's true. But I was listening to the engine. I was watching my temp gauge to make sure I wasn't pissing out my fucking radiator and I drove the rest of the way to my shift because I wasn't trying to be late on my first day yeah, of a new dude, job. You gotta do what you got to do for that. Yeah. Bread. Cause a no call, no show is fired on site. I think Sheesh. two late shifts is a fire. If they see you with the phone in your hand fired, uh, if you're leaning up against something fired, uh, if you're sitting down fired, uh, if you come within four feet of, uh, operating equipment fired. Yeah. You dude, <laughs> dude, Straight to jail, you know? <laughs> straight to jail <laughs> like vibes. Fucking Monopoly in that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, you sell moldy fruit straight to jail. You know? <laughs> like, same yeah, same vibe. Like, literally, uh, that being said, the money I'm making, you can have my phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm not really, but like... You get text... You, you, I turn it on silent, because if I pull it out of my pocket, I don't want to get in trouble. I'll rather... I'd just like ghost people for like six hours straight, you know? Because yeah. like... Uh, yeah, fuck you. Like, you pull your phone out, and it's a target death penalty. <laughs> and I'm trying to lie low, anyways. Like, I'm not trying to overachieve, but I'm not trying to underachieve. So your car, bud? I'm not gonna, huh? Your car? <laughs> My car? What about it? So a thing got kicked up from underneath of a semi truck. What about it? And, <laughs> and, and said, "What about it?" And it was this piece of concrete. That was the size of both of my like literally it's in my car. <laughs> Have I showed you it? No. I'll get I saw it. A picture of I'll it. get it after this. It's the size of both of my fists, like side by side. It slammed clean through my bumper. Keep it <laughs> I was going like eighty not eighty, under eighty. <laughs> uh the quarter loss is under eighty miles an hour. I was going fast <laughs> as fuck. And this thing wasn't moving still it was coming towards me so there was at least like 200 miles an hour difference between us it slams clean through my bumper it takes out my inner fender i'm sure it hit my tire and bounced back into my bumper (laughs) because my inner fender there's just a huge hole cut out of it um it slammed into my airbox snorkel it took (laughs) out my side marker light it fucked up all my shit (laughs) dude Dude. and (laughs) and my my reaction was turn my music off (laughs) dude I was like, Captain, we've been hit by a cannonball on Port Bow. <laughs> and the thing that blew my mind is it stayed in there. <laughs> you know, it was still in there. It, was, it fucking hit one of the crew members bottom yeah. below the deck. <laughs> Dude, it's like it's like those um <laughs> It's like those Bibles that have a bullet stuck in them yeah. from like World War II. <laughs> like I got shot in the Bible and I was fine. You it like left missed it there. everything I I Mm, I didn't want it to fall out and take out a wheel. <laughs> you know? Dude, that's so fucking funny. Oh my god. It was uh tra 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 uh Travis tra- Travis a Travis Ste. It's a trashic. It's trash and trash. Yeah, Travis. Travis Scott? Tra- Travis, Travis Scott. Scott, his concert. All tragic. Do you wanna dude. talk about that? Yeah, dude. You wanna get some food? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna get some food and talk about the Travis Scott incident? I mean I was just gonna I was just gonna Let's, let's get, get some, some fucking, fucking food. food. 
Yeah, but like 12 people died. Dude, it's insane. And honestly, I don't think it was enough. 